question and answer time. And the winners receive dinner for two here in the beautiful Cloud Casino at Roosevelt Raceway and a year's subscription to Hub Rail Magazine. The first winner is Joseph La Mancha of Ozone Park, New York, who writes, when I hear you talking about horses, you always say, the son of Meadow Skipper or the sons of most happy fella. However, the mare is never mentioned. I'm wondering if the horse's mother is important in the breeding. Well, the horse's mother is very important in the breeding. Genetically, she contributes 50% to the foal, and the sire contributes 50%. I personally think, after years of observation, that it's closer to 60-40 or 70-30 with that predominant measure going to the dam. I think that the mother is more important than the sire in every case in equine breeding, and I happen to think that's also true in human breeding. The rest of Mr. La Mancha's question is, Talking about breeding, please tell us what happened to Ocean Bird. Well, I sold Ocean Bird, a pacing filly that used to race here years ago, but I retained a, a daughter of hers, and we named her on the show, if you'll remember. Good Night All was the name. She was by Say Hello, and she was out of Ocean Bird, and 2,600 people wrote in to name that filly, and here is what happened to her as Roger Houston calls the action at the Meadows near Pittsburgh a few weeks ago. Stop the idol on the outside pick. They've got an eighth of a mile to pace. Good night, all oh, has the lead. Features Brooke on the outside. Precious Pat third, coming for the wire. Good night, all oh, at the rail. Features Brooke on the outside. Good night, all, oh, and Features Brooke. Good night, all. Oh. I'm happy for the new owner of Good Night All, and I'm glad that she is racing well. The second winner is Alex Shambart from Hoppage, New York, who writes, how much of a problem is it for the horses entered in the International and the Challenge Cup to enter a race and leave the United States? And do their trainers try to get a race over the track? Well, it is very little problem to enter. There is some paperwork or there are some tests that the U.S. government blood tests require of horses coming here. And there's a 24-hour quarantine period when they land. But there is no problem racing here after that. They are allowed two starts uh, before they leave. and. Uh, there's no problem leaving. They just ship out, get on the airplane, and go home. And it's just about true going to Europe. It is a problem sending horses to Australia and New Zealand, where there used to be a six-month quarantine, and there's still, I believe, a three-month quarantine going in that direction. Right now, there's no quarantine except a brief pause, and when we return, we will be watching the action of a Lady Suffolk, three-year-old Philly Trot, $112,000 first in the seventh race. <laughs> 